All right, guys. So now something is on the agenda today. Mm hmm. Something that has to do with Legaya. Hey, guys. We gotta do something, and I don't think she will like it very much, but it must be done. Mabuhai squad. It's time for us to. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. We have to cut Ligaya's nail. Mm -hmm. Now, she's got this perch which files down her nails, except for one on her thumb. Because if you look carefully, on one foot, her thumb curls in for whatever reason. It doesn't wrap behind like the other. So, as a result, it doesn't get filed down like the other toes. So, uh, she's not gonna like this, but it needs to be done. That wasn't that hard. She's like, that was mm -hmm. pretty weird. Come, step up. Good girl. RJ always goes so out. Thank you, <laughs> Bae. Guys, look at RJ's adobo. Mmm. It looks and smells delicious. Chicken adobo, guys. This is a very famous, oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. A very famous Filipino dish. It's basically chicken with soy sauce and vinegar. You can make it more vinegarish, you can make it more sweet. This is vinegarish. This one's vinegarish, yeah. There's egg in it. Oh my god, this is like staple Filipino food. Let's eat it. I'm considering eating rice soon. Try it. So guys, basically because of this home quarantine, I've been eating a lot of carbs, which I usually don't. You know, just because it's more convenient, I mean, I, I feel like I, you can't be choosy for diet. We have brown rice. We have brown rice, yeah. If ever I might eat brown rice, might as well. If you're gonna eat rice, it has to be the best kind. I mean, the, the healthiest kind. Yeah, just lots of like instant noodle, <laughs> like quick meals. And adobo vinegar. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is hitting the spot right now. Now, there are different ways to make adobo. My mom puts tomatoes in it. RJ puts potatoes in it. An egg. An egg. I've never had that before. So you have a lot of egg. olive oil. Mmm. 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 Tastes like my mom's. <laughs> mm. Guys, this is taking me to my childhood right now. Five Mabuhai stars, by the way. Oh. Good morning. Did our child sleep well? I don't think so. <laughs> slept late. She slept late? Yeah. Like 11. Oh no. Oh my gosh, RJ. What? Beckham. My brother won the lottery. Over here. Huh? April Fools! <laughs> funny! You're not funny! I know that's it. That's we did it. it. <laughs> I had to think of something harmless. I don't like those pranks where the person you're pranking gets worried or like starts to panic or has anxiety. I, I don't like those kind of pranks. I also kind of don't like watching them either. But it's fun. Let's hope my brother does win the lottery. Serving her pellets in this foraging toy. All right, good job, the guys. She grabs it from inside. Oh, but she dropped it. I'm gonna try again. Grabs it from inside and gets the snack. Good girl. Ligaya drinking her parrot tea. So healthy. Mm hmm. Okay, so Ligaya has no choice but to climb. She tries to get it from where she's at, but she can't. So watch her right now. Climbing to the forging wheel. I mean, the forging toy. She has to figure out how to open the lid and stick her head in to get it. There it is. And then she keeps it in her mouth, under her tongue, so she can go to a perch. Are you gonna try to take two? Wow, you're efficient. Okay, no, she's just gonna take one. So with the pellet now in her mouth, she's using her mouth to climb down. She keeps the pellet tucked under her tongue. See that? Keep on going. She's like, why are you watching me? She keeps it tucked underneath her tongue while she's moving around. And then she eats it. 
Awesome! You are brilliant, guys. Now, Ate Elsie initially felt really sorry for Ligaya every time we had to do this kind of thing. But then I had to explain to Ate Elsie, our helper, that this is actually good for her. It's enrichment because, think about it, these birds are getting room service. We just give their food in bowls and they don't have to work for it. And in the wild, these birds are always climbing things. They're looking for food. They've got to work for it. And that's what these parrots are built to do. So if you don't apply these things, they get really bored. And that's when they get destructive, even self-destructive. Um, so to have a healthy parrot, a mentally healthy parrot at that, you should have them like perform tasks, you know, put their skills to work. I mean, they're smart birds. They'll know how to handle. Okay, the guys, seriously, how do you produce so much poo in a day? Wait, I gotta, I gotta wipe this perch. Excuse me. Oh, have you been dropping the pellets in the food bowl? Mabuhai squad, she's smart. She gets them and drops a few into this bowl. You are so good, you. So smart. That's efficiency. By the way, these perches need to be wiped down every single day. If you get a bird, their poo constantly flowing. There is no shortage of poo if you have birds. The good thing about them is the poo doesn't smell. Yesterday, while RJ was cleaning this cage, Ligaya pooed on him. <laughs> Legaya did her own April Fool's prank on RJ yesterday, huh? But yeah, the poo doesn't smell, thankfully. Um, but there's a lot of it. And it needs to be cleaned every single day. Like literally, these perches need to be wiped down every day. If you want a parrot, you can't be afraid of touching poo. Bird poo is life. Also, with cleaners, because their respiratory systems are so sensitive to chemicals, I just use Huggies, the baby wipes. It's got no fragrance, no nothing. It's just wet wipes. And then all the decorations get like a washing, like these perches too, uh, like a thorough washing frequently. I wipe down, wipe down, wipe down. <laughs> Good hygiene. Okay guys, positive affirmation for today, Wednesday, April 1st. Well, first of all, here's a positive affirmation for the month. This month, I pay close attention to the words I say and work to make them as positive and affirming as possible. Oh, I need to work on that, really. For example, I no longer use the word should, which implies that something is wrong. Instead, I use could, which gives me choice. Oh, such a shift illustrates how any thought can be changed to one that empowers and uplifts, prompting life to bring me experience experiences to match. All right, love that, guys. Instead, let's use could. No limiting beliefs, right? You don't have to should anything. Could, so that you have a choice. All right, let's go. Here we go, Wednesday, April 1st. I love and cherish my inner child and joyfully keep it safe at the center of my being. Oh my gosh, guys, I have found that this is so important. I find like you'll still keep young as long as you don't let go of that inner child and joyfully keep it safe at the center of my being. There you guys go. Guys, RJ has an update on yeah. the Beat COVID-19 Now campaign. Mm -hmm. As of today, additional 2,500 surgical masks and 2,500 pair of surgical gloves have arrived. So a total of 5,000 surgical masks and 5,000 surgical gloves for the three hospitals that we chose for, the, uh, for our fundraising campaign. Yay! You guys help the frontliners here in the Philippines and thank you guys so much for the support um continue to spread the word mm -hmm. and if you feel you're able to still help and donate feel free to donate to the paypal address if you could still donate mm -hmm. and we also issue receipt mm -hmm. if you need it rj is like i used could <laughs> i'm glad you're listening to the positive affirmation could not should now guys i could be working and i am <laughs> For the Ants Canada episode coming out this Saturday, I've got a very big, big announcement. You guys will hear about it in the episode. Uh, but this week has been pretty major. Big, big changes. Guys, look at how prolific my sweet potato has been. You see? The leaves are just so, it's so big now. Sweet potato has been growing well in the soil from, well, the casts from my worm farm. Look at the kangkong, guys. Ooh, so big. Love it. They get some great sun out here. See, very healthy leaves. The leaves extend all the way down here, way out there. They're getting some great sunlight here. 
I find that Kong Kong loves lots of bright light. Um, they also like a lot of moisture. So I take my fish tank water and I water them here and, uh, and down there as well. See, I can't wait to harvest these leaves and eat them. That'll be so fun. Here's the coriander. Yes, hey, what's this leaf doing here? Coriander growing well. And check out our basil, guys. Look, so big. This is the sweet basil. That's the lemon basil. More lemon basil here. Love it, love our garden. Now, here is more kangkong that RJ used. He just saved the stems and we've planted them now and going to be planting them very soon into some soil, see? They're already starting to grow like even though we've plucked the leaves from them look see they're sprouting new leaves I think RJ and I are going on our third it's been past our third week in quarantine now and last night I was really really starting to feel a cabin fever for some reason like I love home life I enjoy it but for some reason I last night I started to feel really claustrophobic my condo here isn't very large it's big enough for RJ and I and all our animals but I miss being able to go outside see the trees right sun on my face, hear all the outdoor sounds, hear nature, see insects. This week's kind of emo for me, a little emo for me because like yeah, the news isn't very promising but also, well you guys will see, I talk about it on the other channel. I just hope all of you guys out there are staying safe, self-isolating and um, let's hope this ends sooner than we expect. From my understanding, this is probably going to be months long, maybe even close to a year. I don't even know how that's going to be possible, but man, this is its a serious, serious thing. Oh, oh, guys, one of my favorite Filipino foods ever. This here is sinigang, beef sinigang, sour soup. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I have been craving for sinigang for the longest time. OMG, guys, what a treat. I love all of this home cooking. So I texted my mom. They're okay. They're in the condo. Now that my mom has social media, like internet, because for the longest time, my dad wasn't giving her his his internet he didn't know how and she was even going to like coffee bean to get internet but now she's got internet um, thanks to a pocket Wi-Fi that was given to us from Edmark thank you Edmark so I believe she understands now the gravity of this whole coronavirus I'm not worried about them um, so my parents are okay um, and they'll be staying here in Manila until the flights the international flights from PAL start working again direct to Toronto uh, they'll be okay all right guys Let's try this sinigang. Mmm, 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 mmm. They're so good. It's sinigang mm. with gabi. That soup is so sour and it's like thick and rich. Yeah, because of the gabi. Mmm, gabi, which is like a type of potato. Taro, I think. It's taro, okay. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, babe. Seriously. Mmm. Oh my gosh, mmm. The flavor just exploded in my mouth. I mean, this beef is so tender. It's like fall off the bone tender. And I put tomato sauce in it. You did? Yeah. Put tomato sauce in here? And then we have mm. okra and... Yeah, guys, there's okra, eggplant. It's just so delicious. Mmm, mmm. Wow, this is amazing. Mmm. I think this is the best thing you've cooked so far. And guys, I've been seeing your comments saying um, we should vlog everything from like how RJ's cooking this stuff. Because he cooks it using a rice cooker. It's a multi-cooker. A multi-cooker. He doesn't want me to vlog because, I don't know, he's fussy about his hair and he doesn't like to be seen that way. RJ! No, this is a real life vlog. When we move to the house, I'll have a proper kitchen and you know. You don't have to be ashamed of our kitchen. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so delicious. And RJ made the sour soup using tamarind, right? Tamarind and gabi. Tamarind and gabi. But the sourness comes from the tamarind. The tamarind. Mm. You can make sinigang using tamarind. What else? Oh, next time, calamansi. calamansi. You can squeeze like the sour citrus. I mean, you could go to the Filipino store and get the powdered soup, but no. Nah. We don't play that here. We don't play that. RJ is good enough to make his own from scratch.
guys, so now I have something very special, a special gift and treat for Legaya. Mm -hmm. And something tells me she's gonna love this. Hey guys, something's coming to your cage. And it's right here, she's looking at it. <laughs> Mabuhai squad, check out what I'm putting in your cage. 